This is Luke James, and on behalf of the Skilled Five, we're going to go over a management quandary, which is our TV show for a midterm presentation. So, a management quandary focuses on Joe's journey with management and the motivational principles he uses to motivate and manage his team as they race against the clock. The tax deadline is coming. Smith & Johnson Company is a five-star rated accountant firm located in St. Petersburg, Florida that has been in business since 1984. Joe, the new senior accountant, is faced with the problem of lack of employees to execute the demands of tax pre preparation brought on by the influx of businesses due to the incoming federal tax season. Amber, a junior accountant, suggests hiring new employees would be beneficial to achieving their goals. As a team, Joe, Amber, Chris, and Taylor discuss ways to improve the competitive advantage of the company. They all decide that hiring more people would be beneficial. This team is successful at making group decisions that bring about the best outcome for the company. Many of the team members are not as functional in making decisions alone. This TV show will display a relaxed style work environment in which each member of the team can embrace their individual personality. It will show how if one part of the team is slacking in job performance, the whole team suffers and the do's and don'ts of decision making as multiple unexpected tasks arise. At the end of this show, we hope that viewers in their early 20s to late 40s and all job disciplines will be able to better understand who managers are and what they do, the importance of making the right decisions for any company, proper use of strategic implementation and managing diverse human resources, and that each viewer will gain a good understanding of managerial ethics to apply to their team and work environment. So basic concepts, we're just talk, going to talk about managers, you know, who they are and what they do, the decisions they make face in the working environment, uh, strategies they will use to arrive at those decisions, managing diverse human resources, and the ethics behind the decisions that they're making. The target audience for our show is not only professionals and aspiring professionals, but also anyone who needs to control and motivate a group. This could be anything from team captains and coaches to school teachers or administration. Leadership skills and management skills go hand in hand and can make a huge difference when dealing with people, both in groups and individually. We want our show to make parallels between the situations we touch on and real life scenarios, and we are striving to present this information in a fun, easy to watch way. The show could, feature, could be featured in scholastic settings or post-graduation at a company's leadership seminars. We geared our production towards a wide demographic to be as inclusive as possible for anyone who wants to learn critical skills for leadership and management. Our characters are Joe, Chris, Amber, Taylor, and Sarah. First, Joe is a late 20s supervisor with his BS in accounting and his master's. He's easily likable, but new to supervising. Joe is a successful accountant who's moving up in his career field fast. He is very excited about his new job position, but is very nervous because it is his first management job as an accountant. He is a good, strong leader and likes to do things his way because he believes it's the best way. He stands by his managerial ethics because that's what made him the best candidate to lead. This includes implementing ethics training for employees and rewarding ethical behaviors. Joe is a hard worker and he is going to do whatever it takes to help his team succeed and, be and because tax season is quickly approaching, he must find ways to help his team succeed. He is well known for his individual decision making because he does not always rely on or trust others to help him achieve his goals. Chris, also in his late 20s, has a BS in accounting and is part of middle management. He is notorious for slacking but always manages to somehow pull it off in the end. Chris does not take anything too seriously but somehow he manages to keep his job. He tends to try to take the easy way out of things by pushing decision making off on lower level employees. Chris is pleasant to his employees but is obvious that he would rather be doing something else with his time. Chris is punctual and loves job creativity. He is not a very competitive person, and this brings up challenges in keeping him up with the other tax companies in the area. Amber, early 40s, has no formal education in accounting. She is part of middle management and has seniority within the company. She is very nice and always meets deadlines. Amber is hard work as a hard worker, but she is kind of quirky in group situations. In meetings, she can be indecisive. She needs to build skills in group decision-making. Amber works just over 40 hours a week and is very dependable. Amber also takes the lead on the few international clients that the firm has, which leads to the firm's having a global focus. Taylor, in her early 20s, has a BS in accounting and is fresh out of college. 
He holds on to the college mindset and tends to be rude at times. He is ambitious and good at his job, but no one really knows if he likes it or not. Due to his slight immaturity, Taylor struggles with individual decision-making tasks and depends on a team a little too much. Taylor appears lost career-wise and lacks experience in communicating with clients. Sarah, in her early 30s, has a BS in accounting and relocated in search of better opportunities. In her previous work experience, she has proven to be a dedicated and efficient tool by exceeding firm goals. She is a creative thinker that quickly speaks out on anything that can help the firm better succeed. Sarah wants to be recognized for her competence and innovative abilities. However, her competitiveness has sometimes led her to make decisions without communicating them with the team. So for episode one, we're going to focus on the manager, Joe, as he introduces characters to work setting and introduce the concept of managers to what they do. Here, a uh, pretty basic situation where he allocated tasks to his workers. Uh, two of them, Amber and Taylor, did well, while Chris, known for his slacking, uh, did that this time, put it off, and now is getting talked to by the manager about his performance. In episode two, Joe wants to take a better look at the budgeted revenue expected for this year's tax season so he can hope to find a better strategy to improve his new team. Smith & Johnson Company have been around for years, since 1984. This five-star rated accounting firm is the most trusted firm in Florida, so Joe must keep that title going. As he goes through his management quandary, he must also find ways to connect with his employees and their personalities. As a manager, Joe's top priority is being able to know that each person understands the importance of ethics when it comes to the job, so he sets up a meeting. There, each employee explains very well what ethics mean to them and what ideas could be incorporated to improve this year's increase of clientele. One suggested handing out companies' flyers on social media. Most of the employees, though, suggested that new employees should be hired to help contribute to these new ideas that were able to take place. Three, during a group meeting, Amber and Joe come to the conclusion that hiring a new employee would benefit the company. Joe conducts interviews for two weeks and finally makes a decision to hire Sarah. Sarah is in charge of advertising for the company's social networks and getting the word out about tax preparation and other inquiries that Smith & Johnson Company offer. Sarah's unique ideas and creative graphic art on social networks begin to draw clients in. The office gets so backed up that daily appointments now have to be made. The accounting firm's February month service revenue is booming and everyone's ecstatic. Lastly, before we will focus on the compensation aspect of human resources, which entails pay, benefits, and reward. We will also focus on group versus individual decision making as Joe is picking a new healthcare plan. They end up deciding for the cafeteria style plan, a benefit plan using benefit dollars to purchase benefits for to fit particular needs. So that's pretty much it. We as a Scale 5 will plan to work on our group communication to better facilitate a quality product as we start to finish up our TV series, A Management Quandary. We plan to build on existing successes to get the most out of this class. Thank you very much.